Hey, what's up guys? I'm Cliff Blazinski, Design Director at Epic Games, and here we're going to give you a tour of Epic, our lovely compound here in Cary, North Carolina. So come on, let's have a look. So here's our Epic Wall of History going all the way back to our oldest games. And this is when it was Epic Mega Games, 1992, and the, the quality of these instruction manuals is just amazing. And it just keeps going all the way through to Dare to Dream, which is my opus that failed when I was an angst-ridden teenager. But then I learned from my mistakes and made Jazz Jackrabbit, which earned me enough money to get out of my mother's house and buy my first car and get my own apartment. We did Unreal, uh, of course, the Unreal Gold Pack, and then, of course, Unreal Tournament, and then everything started blowing up and being great for us. All right, let's uh, keep it moving. So here's the kind of the history of the studio and how we've grown from 2006 all the way through to 2009, 10, 11, and beyond. And I generally try to realize when it's picture day and wear a very loudly colored obnoxious shirt because I'm kind of like the where's Waldo of video game developer douchebags. Hey, which one's the energy one? So here's our Marcus bust that we had done up for E3 and various promotional activities. He actually has hair coming out of him. I don't even know if it's real human hair or not. It's a little creepy. We have a rock climbing wall. So this is uh, one of our stairwells, and normally you're like, stairwells, those are boring, they're not interesting, and we realized that too. So we hired a local graffiti artist named Sean Kernick, really good dude. I often feel like I'm in the opening credits of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air here, like, oh, what's up? So this is our wall of mounted magazine covers. As you can see, we've had decent luck. I wanna show you vintage cliff. This is circa, God, it must've been like 2000. Look at that. How much do clothes cost in the Matrix? Yeah. So here's our trophy case. We actually have two. We've been in business for 20 years and we hope to get more and make more awesome games. Fingers crossed. Over here, it's more Gears swag. I didn't know there was a Gears canteen. And oh, here's uh, the digger launcher. Ryan Paulser made this. So here's my office. I share my office with Shane over here. Wave hi, Shane. It's like my inner child just completely vomited everywhere. Yeah, where's the button? It actually says thunder. Thunder! Thunder have the Space Battle Cruiser Yamato, which I grew up on with Star Blazers. A live hand grenade in case they try and fire me someday. Uh, Optimus Prime Shrine. I like robots a lot. Hoping to have more robots in future games, keep that in mind. So on the main wall, you can see I have some wooden tile art that was created by an artist at Neversoft. If you grew up born like 75 to 85 or so, there's something about pixel art that just brings out a certain joyousness from our childhood. So we're not supposed to do this, but I'm gonna zip you by real quick. This is the Infinity Blade Dungeons Room. Well, if I take the, the sword and then I mash it on the goblin, then I kill the goblin and I get XP. This is pretty much, that's how we work around here. Come on. All right, let's ambush Chris. Chris Perna, he's our amazingly talented art director who absolutely hates being on camera. So you're, this is like catching a Yeti in the wild. What's up, community guys? Say hi to Game Informer. They're the... I don't follow you and your dad. You guys are great. These guys are at the forefront of the community. Anytime you compliment us, they're the first ones to hear it. Anytime you insult us, they're the first ones to hear it. So they take a lot of heat off my back, so thanks guys. All record fans. <laughs> All right, so I was in an office the other day having a meeting and I noticed two of our artists coming out here and tending to some crops and I don't know what it is, if it's legal or not. Let's go look. It's like Thai hot peppers and stuff like that. You never know what's going on around here. Let's get out of this fucking heat. So right now, about five minutes ago, I tweeted to Notch that he's a giant douchebag and Wes, who's our PR manager, has to deal with this looking. I love my job. So this is our artist's kind of hideaway. The idea here is that basically the artist can come and do traditional media such as painting, sculpting, I don't know, maybe metalwork, things like that. And you can see they just sculpt pretty cool little heads in their spare time. They draw amazing little charcoals. Apparently we have beautiful naked women showing up to model for them. I didn't get the memo for that. And then of course the legendary Epic Slide, which uh, costs $2 to ride. It's world of microtransactions now, what can I say? It's kind of the sign of the times. And I think I just broke my tailbone. So that about wraps up our tour here at Epic Games in Cary. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm right here in front of the amazing graffiti wall that was done by OG Slick for Gears of War 3. It turned out great and looks amazing on the wall. And I hope you enjoyed the tour and I hope you have a great day.